getting back here, this is their coupling. The coupling, what that means is anytime the trailer hooks to the truck, that's the coupling. Now, if you get the whole truck, you know, you're gonna come back here, you're gonna do your marker lights, your reflectors, your, your uh, tail lights, don't forget your reverse light. All right, you got your tag, problem out secure. Make sure my tag is not out of date. Uh, now we've been calling, I know it's not, but we've been calling this a catwalk because remember, we're just trying to get points, so we passed. We've been calling that the catwalk. Don't forget your DOT tape, problem out secure, uh, proper color. Uh, we got our, uh, our three marker lights here. And just do remember, it's red in the back, amber elsewhere. Now when you get back here to the couplings, now I understand we don't have an electrical board here with this truck. We just use it in the yard for backing and stuff. But this is where my our electrical uh, cable hooks. So I'm going to make sure my electrical cable is properly mounted secure at both ends. I'm going to make sure it's not uh, uh, dragging against the trailer or the truck. I'm going to make sure it's uh, not cut, chased, spliced, worn, or damaged. I'm going to make sure uh, there's no uh, bare wire showing through the insulation. It's not tangled or pinched. From there, I'm gonna, I like to work my way back in toward myself, toward the middle right here. So from there, I'm going to go to my, my chains here. First off, I'm going to notice that my hooks are facing inward. The chains are in the crisscross position. I'm going to check for excessive slack and I'll make sure they're not kinked. I'm also going to make sure my chains are probably mount secure at all four attachment points. Now that's with anything back here. If it attaches to the truck and the trailer, we want to check it at both ends. Just like with the chains. Chain attaches here, it attaches here. Chain attaches here, it attaches here. So you want to check it at each connection point. Going from there, we got our glad hands right here. Now this trailer is electric brakes, and you want to tell the examiner, hey, this trailer has electric brakes. But if we were hooking up here, I would check my glad hands. I've got my red emergency, my blue service. Uh, both glad hands are properly mount secure, not cracking, broken, or damaged. They have a little rubber seal on the inside. It's not missing or damaged. And when I connect it together, I want to make sure my airline is not tangled or pinched also. And I'm going to, when I release the brakes, you know, I'm going to listen for leaks. Because remember, it's air. We want to listen for leaks on air. All right, moving on to my pinnel hook here. I got my pinnel hook mounting bracket. I want to make sure uh, my mounting bracket is probably mounted secure. It's not crap or broken or damaged. I'm going to check for any loose or missing uh, nuts and bolts. From there, I'm going to go to my pinnel hook. The pinnel hook here is probably mount secure. It's not cracked, bent, broken, or damaged. I'm going to make sure it's in the closed and locked position. I'm going to check for any loose or missing parts. Uh, I've got my uh, pinnel hook on my safety latch here. It's probably mount secure. On the other side, I've got my hitch release lever. That's probably mount secure. And my tongue, I'm going to check for uh, excessive wear on my tongue. I'm going to, I'll also look at my pinnel hook for excessive wear. I'm going to check for any stress cracks on my tongue and pinnel hook. As I move on back, at any time, any time you get done with a large area like right, like right there, just stop for a second, because you know you're going to be under a lot of pressure taking your test. So just, just you know, pause for a second, and just kind of review everything you just done, because it is so easy to try to get in a hurry and get through this stuff. It's just you know these little things that we forget. They just keep adding up. Now remember, when you're taking your test, if you're at the back of the trailer and you forgot maybe a steering component, you can always go back to it. So don't forget that. You can always go back to it. So uh, uh, we're going to go to the trailer frame here. I've got my longitudinal members, the cross members, the box and floor. I'm going to check out six things we're going to check for. Cracks, holes, broken welds, damage. It's not bent or twisted. That's cracks, holes, broken welds, damage, not bent or twisted. From there, I'm going to go to my landing gear. All right, my landing gear is in an upright stowed position. Uh, it's probably mount secure, not crap, bent, broken, or damaged. I'm going to check for any loose or missing parts. Now, this landing gear is hydraulically operated, so I'm going to check my hydraulic hoses here. They're probably mount secure, not cut, chafed, spliced, worn, or damaged, and I'll check those for leaks. Now, right here, I got my landing gear support frame. It's probably mount secure, not crap, bent, broken, or damaged. No loose or missing parts there. Now, back here, this is my uh, tongue storage area. Three things we need to know about that. My tongue storage area is properly mount secure to the tongue. Uh, the floor is solid and cargo is secure. Now my header board here, now you might have a header board on the truck also, but the header board here on the trailer is properly mount secure, not crap, bent, broken, or damaged. Now in the book it says free of damage, but I think we'll be okay on that. And is able to restrain cargo. 
Now, depending on the trailer you have, you know, you're just going to do your tire back here just like you would on the truck, 2 30 seconds tread depth. We always just say 100 psi because it's just easy to remember 100 psi. You got your cup oil seal. Uh, we call this a trailer door. The trailer door opens and closes from the outside. We're just we're just trying to get rid of it so we can pass the test. Uh, you got your marker lines. Now, something don't forget like your amber marker lines right here. Don't forget your amber reflectors. Uh, and you're just gonna say that they're probably not secure, uh, not crap and broken or damaged. They're clean, clear, and functional, and amber in color. Going back to the back. Problem out secure, not crap, not broken, or damaged. They're clean, clear, and functional. Red in the back, amber elsewhere. So uh, that's pretty much it. And remember, if you miss a part, you can always go back to it. So don't ever get back here in the back and go, oh man, I forgot the marker lights on top of the cab of the truck. You can always go back to it. They're going to ask you, uh, they'll say, are you done? And you're going to go, well, I was until you said that. But just, just use that moment and stop for a second and think. Hey, have I forgot anything? You just kind of review in your mind, and uh, hey, you never know. You might remember that one little thing that can uh, save you from failing. A lot of times, you're just one point away from passing, so remember that. Okay.